Hello everyone, welcome back to my second channel. I'm very excited to have you here today because today I am going to be exposing the world's most evil babysitter. I just found this channel called Generation Hope. It's sort of like Darman, but if Darman's videos were even lower budget, each video is sort of like a mini movie. They're scripted out, there's a moral at the end, very emotional, very intense. And this video I want to talk about today is called Evil Babysitter Drowns Kid in Pool Leaves Him for Dead. Without a doubt, this has to be the world's most evil babysitter. Since I just stumbled upon this channel and I watched this entire video, I want you guys to watch it too. This video is really bad. The video is 10 minutes long and I think they probably spent like 11 minutes filming it. Let's go ahead and watch. <laughs> You're not gonna take that money from me, you little turd. Okay, what's funny is this is one of those things where they play like the most interesting part of the video at the beginning of the video, but I can understand you thinking since the video is just called Evil Babysitter Drowns Kid in Pool, that like this is the whole video, it just starts there and she's just immediately pushes him in the pool for no reason. That would be kind of crazy if it's just like a 30 second long video and that's it. But no, there's more story to it. There's a reason. You'll notice she said, you're not gonna give me that money, little twerp. You're not gonna take that money from me, you little turd. So she clearly has a reason for pushing him in the pool. Let's figure out what it is. This is gonna be the biggest score yet. Have you figured out how much we're gonna make? Yeah, it's gonna be over half a million dollars. Are you sure we won't get caught? What do you think the director told him right before he did this take? I feel like there has to be some kind of strange direction that made him say the line like that. Are, Are you sure, sure we won't, won't get, get caught? caught? Okay, so deliver this line like you're a bad guy, you're a burglar, you're gonna steal some money, but you also accidentally just took way too many Xanaxes. Deliver this line like you're a prototype humanoid robot. Deliver this line like it's your first time ever talking and you're just sort of dipping your toe in the water to see how it feels. All right then. Uh, I'll get everything figured out on my end. Just let me know when everything's set on yours. Okay, so this is important for the rest of the video. She's doing research. She's got a plan. She's going in to do this heist. The other guy says, all right, I'll do everything I need to do on my end before we start. Okay, so they seem very organized. They have this whole thing planned out. So let's see how their plan unfolds. Mom, I don't understand why you have to hire a babysitter. It's kind of against the law to leave a kid your age home alone. Fine. What is this meal she's handing So him? it looks like cut up apples, as you can see here, but then when she hands him the plate, it's also like a tortilla? Here's your three apple slices and a plain tortilla, sweetie. I hope this babysitter can take care of you better than I can. Cause I don't know how to, I don't know how to make any food. She could be evil and steal from us, but as long as she knows how to cook, she actually might be doing a better job than me. If you can behave the two days while I'm gone, when I get back, get to the PS5 you were asking for. Really? You got yourself a deal. Jeez, dude, that kid woke up. He was in a trance. He was in sort of a low energy state, probably because he was only he's only been fueled by tortillas and apples. But then the second she said PS5, he stood at attention, dude. So let's just say the stakes are pretty high for this video. You got burglars coming in to steal money. You've got a kid who has a PS5 on the line. So he's gonna fight back. Well, hello, Miss Davis. Good morning. Hi, Brenda. Good morning to you, too. Of course, I love the natural dialogue. Hello, good morning, Mrs. Davis. Hello, Brenda, and good morning to you. And how how are you? I'm well, and good morning, and I'm great, and how are you? I'm great and good morning as well. Thank you, and how are you? I'm hungry. Do you have any apple and tortilla? Wow, what a lovely apartment you have here. Oh, this is nothing. Thank you, though. Such a weird line. Oh, this is nothing. Thank you, though. Oh, this uh, this really nice apartment, it actually means nothing to me. I could afford way better, but I could understand how someone like you would think it's nice, so thank you. I'm showing my teeth. I do. Guys, did you notice that I had something in my teeth the whole time? If you did and you didn't tell me, I'm gonna be really pissed. All right, well, it looks like my flight leaves in 45 minutes, so I gotta get going. Huh? Her flight leaves in 45 minutes? That actually might be the most unrealistic part of this entire video, and you guys haven't even seen their heist plan yet. Her flight leaves in 45 minutes and she hasn't even left for the airport yet? Dude, this woman is flying by the seat of her pants. Actually, she's not gonna be flying by the seat of her pants because she's gonna miss her flight. All right, honey, you know you can call me if you need anything though, right? It is kind of crazy that she just hired the babysitter and then is leaving like 30 seconds after introducing them for the first time for two days. Haven't had to hire any babysitters for our kid yet, but I don't think that I would feel comfortable leaving him alone with someone for two days that I just met 10 seconds ago. But I guess she is in a rush to get to the airport, so it's not like they really have time for a lengthy introduction. Mm. 
I love you so much. Love you too, mom. Really cheerful music right now too. I actually don't think I would have gone with the sweet, happy music because the interaction that's happening now seems pleasant, but we as the viewer already know that things are not as nice as they seem. I feel like tense music would have been much better here because you know some shit's about to go down. You know she's about to drown this kid. So I'm, I'm not exactly feeling great about this interaction. I mean, I'm happy, I guess, I guess I'm happy they're all getting along here. Maybe all that stuff at the beginning was just a fluke. Maybe this is actually just gonna be a really nice video. That stuff at the beginning about him drowning, that's just a glitch. It's just a YouTube glitch. I'm sure they're gonna be fine. Please don't let him anywhere near the pool. He still doesn't know how to swim. When will you teach me how to swim, Mom? Soon, hun. All right, well, I do have to get going. Soon, hon, don't worry. And you're what, 13? You can wait a couple more years to learn how to swim. I like that she said, don't let him anywhere near the pool. Please don't let him anywhere near the pool. So as to say, like, he doesn't know how to swim, but he will try. If he sees a pool, he's gonna sprint and dive head first, hands at his side, into the pool, and immediately drown. All right, Brenda, time for us to have some fun. How about you go to your room instead? Uh-oh. But I thought we were friends. <laughs> I'm not your friend. I was just nice to your dumb, ugly mom so she would trust me. Okay, so she immediately turns evil. It feels like there probably is a better strategy here to get this robbery done efficiently. I don't think she had to immediately turn evil. If anything, that's gonna make it harder because now the kid who she's living with for the next two days is like on to her. She could have just kept being nice and just stolen the money, whatever this money. I still don't... We still don't know where the money is. She could have stolen the money without the kid noticing. The kid definitely thinks she's up to something now. You go evil mode while babysitting a kid, they know you're up to something. Is everything ready? Yes. Mom is gone and the kid is in his room. All right, it's time for this plan to unfold. It's time for all of her research and all this guy's preparation to come to fruition. So what's the next move? Which is half a million dollars you're talking about. Well, I haven't really figured that out yet. Oop, shit. Look, Michael, I did my research, okay? This lady is a real estate mogul. She made two million last year. There has to be money in this house somewhere. No, there doesn't. Most people keep their money in the bank. You think that because she made two million dollars last year, that's just gonna be lying around somewhere in the house? That's not how money works anymore. Was this video written in 1930? That'd be crazy if they searched this whole house and they only find like $20 in cash. I don't really keep very much cash on me. So like that's probably how much money you'd find in my house. And they still drown the kid for $20. Like it's better than nothing. So long, dude. It's actually the perfect crime because as we know, this kid will drown himself at a moment's notice anyway. So they can pretty much get away with it scot-free. All right, uh, you check the drawers. Let me check the closet. So much paper in those drawers. She's also doing a really effective job at looking carefully. Mm, could be in here. No, it's definitely not in there though. Definitely not this, definitely not that, definitely not in there. It's like, could you look at the things you're pulling out a little bit? What if there's like a bank statement in one of those things? What if her bank username and password are written on one of those papers? She's just like, get all the shit out of the way. I'm looking for money. There's like a briefcase in there. She throws that out of there. Expensive jewelry and watches. She's like, get all this out of here. I'm looking for Regular dollar bills. That's the only form of money I will accept. Found it. Let's go put it on. Oh, that's interesting. The captions are wrong. The baked in captions that the editors added are wrong. I'm, I'm pretty sure he says, let's go open it up. Let's go put it on. He just says, let's go put it up. All right, now let's go put the safe up real high and then we'll drop it. And then, and then it'll break open and the money will come out. Let's go put it up. Where's the key? Key? I don't know where the key is. I thought you said you had this all planned out. Yeah, and I also thought you said you were gonna prepare. What were you doing? Were you, you were practicing your looking skills? Were you hiding money from yourself around your apartment and then going to find it? What, what did either of you do to prepare for this? How did you decide upon this target? Did you just Google rich people? Like if they live in a nice apartment building, couldn't it have been any person in this apartment building you could have robbed from? I don't really understand how they stumbled upon this woman and then decided she must have a ton of money in cash in her apartment. Apartment. Was there a rumor going around that this lady doesn't trust the banks? Is she well known for just walking around and money falling off of her? Like she just has so much excess money it's falling out of her pant legs? I got too many questions, man. I just want to see them drown this kid. I knew she was rich. I didn't know the money was going to be in a lockbox with a key. That's actually kind of best case scenario because it's either that or it's all in a bank. So you should probably be happy it's in a lockbox with a, a key. Hey, that's what noise. And who is this guy? I'm calling mom that you brought strangers into my house. Let's go to the pool. The pool? Who's this strange man in my house? Also, you're evil, but 
Hell yeah, let's go to the pool. This kid sulks until he hears one word that he likes, and then he's like, okay, I'll do any, I'll do whatever you say. I don't want my mom to leave. PS5, sure. I don't want to help you rob my mom. Chuck E. Cheese? Oh my gosh, really? Wait. Why are you being so nice all of a sudden? Oh, I was just having a bad day this morning. It's just that I was so frustrated this morning because I hadn't robbed your mom yet. But now that I am, I'm actually in a really good mood. Okay, so anyway, they go to the pool. Let's see what's going on here. All right, first lesson, you gotta practice doing your arms like this. How am I doing? Oh, great. Now remember, we're doing this so you can learn to be safe around a pool. Learn to be safe around a pool. Wait a minute. I know what that thing was. Oh, dude, she just activated like a sleeper cell. This kid has been trained by the CIA to keep that safe. Safe. This kid has three words that immediately change his entire mood and perspective. PS5, pool, and safe. The two make him happy. The third sends him into a violent rage. The third makes him hell-bent on protecting his mother's money. And also activates his advanced martial arts skills. That'd be crazy. But no, that's not what happens. Ooh, that's cold. Well, you gotta learn to swim in any temperature. Now put your hands in. The running start is crazy. She could have easily just given him a little shove and he would have fallen in. But hey, I guess she was just, you know, she was having fun with it. You gotta get a running start. You gotta make the job fun somehow, man. You're not gonna take that money from me, you little turd. I don't think he necessarily wants the money. It's not like you guys are both competing to steal from his mom. I think he wants to keep the money, like keep it for his family. I don't think he's trying to take it from you. It's not your money, you know? That's wild if she thinks that he's like, he's competition. Why is there so many people here trying to steal this money? This little kid who keeps calling that lady mom? He must be another undercover burglar. I have to kill him. Where's the little kid? I took care of him. It also feels like they could have just taken this safe home. Like the second they found it, they could have just left. And then the kid would have come out of his room and been like, where's my babysitter? Oh, well. And then they could have just pried it open when they got home. It just seems like a really roundabout way to rob someone, man. But you know what? They're the professionals and this is real. This did really happen. So who am I to poke holes in it? I did it. <laughs> <laughs> How much money is in there? <gasps> Okay, how much money do do we estimate is in here? What, so there's stacks of a hundred. They're not really thick stacks. I mean, this is maybe like 10 one hundreds. I mean, what do you think? So one, two, three, four, five, six. And if each stack is a thousand dollars, that's that's six thousand dollars. That's a pretty far cry from the half a million dollars or the two million dollars they mentioned earlier. They killed a kid for six thousand dollars. <laughs> Okay, wait, no, no, the stacks are thicker than I thought. Okay, they're, well, it's hard to say. Leave your guesses in the comments below. How much do you think they killed this kid for? Oh, we what? are rich! We are rich! <laughs> no, but what you are is under arrest. It's gotta be the clunkiest line ever for a police officer to come. You should, you know, I feel like in a moment like this, you want him to say something really clever. Like, we're rich. And then he says, like, yeah, you're, you're rich in, you're, you're rich in prison time. You have a lot of that. I don't know. I feel like there's something more clever he could have said. Instead he said, yeah, no, you're not. But what you are is you are going to jail, which it sure is about just as clever as the one that I came up with. But I feel like they probably had more time to figure it out. I'm just doing this on the spot. What happened? Shut up. Now get on your knees, put your hands behind your back now. I like that the kid is completely dry now. He got out quick, he dried off, and found a police officer all in the span of like five minutes. How did he get out of the pool? He can't swim. He just sort of floated out of the pool and dried off, and there happened to be a police officer right there, and he was like, hey, come help me catch these burglars. How did you get out? Well, I didn't quit. When you left me there drowning in the pool, I was fighting for my life. Well, I was there for a while, but then I heard someone say the word PS5 and my eyes started glowing. I levitated out of the pool, immediately dried off, and then there was a police officer standing right there. Pretty convenient. Eventually, I was able to get out and find a police officer, and I told him- Also, you can clearly see in the background the pool is three feet, and I think this kid is taller than three feet, so I'm gonna say that he actually could have just stood up. Brenda and Michael were arrested and sentenced to jail for 20 years. It's very important that that we were very careful about who we let watch over our children. Yeah, you're one to talk. We all are. It's you that messed up. Just kidding, I know she's an actor. I know the, I know the whole thing was fake the whole time, so. 
Jokes on you guys. All right, well, anyway, thank you for watching this video. Uh, I think one thing is for sure, guys. That was one evil babysitter.